after the triumph that was Sheplikov again, when I saw another uh, monkless beer on the shelf, I of course had to try it. So today it's going to be Monkless Belgian Ales Hazy Day in Brussels, which is a double dry hopped Belgian style triple. <laughs> Beautiful aromas coming off that. Let's see here, just so you can get a good picture of the can. Yeah, good stuff. Um, hey, welcome to another, to another episode of Chewing the Brew. It's me, Matthew, and uh, look at that head. It's happy to see me. Beautiful, white, uh, rocky, as they say. I don't think I've used that term in a few months. Um, that means the bubbles are of various shapes. It usually speaks to... Um, the craftness of the brewing process. The head's going away relatively quickly. The color is uh, just to the gold side of yellow. Just from here, I'm smelling um, fresh, fresh vegetables and flowers, and maybe some fruit, but almost like like pea plants, like pea vines. Also, it is I am outdoors today. Yay! Um, there's a little bit of a wind, but not enough that it should be a problem, hopefully, I say, as it now starts blowing. So, fresh, vibrant flavors. Diving in more, there's more of a, there's definitely some tropical notes here. Um, so this is a, uh, kind of a nod to the New England hazies. So I am definitely expecting there to be, um, uh, fruity aromas. So Citra, Eldorado, and Mandarina Bavaria, which I'm, Mandarina, I'm assuming that means it's referring to a Mandarin orange flavor. That is a very sweet, low acidity citrus flavor or citrus note. Um, this is brewed using a uh, Pilsen malt. Um, so that's going to be a light, uh, a very lightly colored malt, typical of a Pilsner beer. And a Trappist yeast. So uh, I'm expecting funkiness from that. Uh, barnyard things like that. <laughs> so I'm definitely smelling those citra and a uh, and an even sweeter mandarin orange note to the nose, that's for sure. I'm not sure, I'm not as familiar with the Eldorado hops, and frankly, I'm not familiar with the mandarina hops uh, because I haven't ever drunk a beer that actually pointed out it was made with them before, um, but the citra I'm relatively familiar with, though I'd say that this note is not strongly citra. The citra is probably playing a, playing a, a background note to the mandarina. It's a very soft, um, soft, sweet citrus note to the to the nose. Now a triple ale is going to be um, strong. So that's a that's a there's there's the the doppel or the the double is moderately strong. And the triple is really strong, and the quadruple is even more so. Um, I would say that typically a double, a, Europe, a true European double, is going to be more in line with just the average American beer. Because the average European beer is a lower ABV, and so a double is just a little bit more than that. And then the triple here is 8.5%, 8.6% 8, 8 alcohol by volume. Um, which is getting pretty close to the imperial. Um, I think that's actually just just burial, barely into the what we would call an imperial beer, um, and then a quad is just more so. You know, <laughs> they keep turning the knob up. <laughs> so with that higher alcohol content, I'm expecting more flavors being carried with it. I'm expecting a a savoring character to the beer. It's going to be. Maybe not necessarily heavy, but I'm expecting it to be strong. And for that strength to be, well, there, present. Um, alcohol carries flavor, so what flavors there are, I'm expecting more of them. And uh, we'll see how that stands up, eh? Oh, wow. Okay, so that is smooth. It is very smooth. Uh, definitely citrus. Definitely citrus, yeah. Um, the hops are real present at the outset, but 
less so in the the second act. They're there like big and juicy and tropical and and then they fade and there's a kind of a nice soft almost malty middle there. The hops are never gone, but I think the booziness interjects itself some more and you get to taste a little bit of the malt, though not too much because pills and malts in general they're not they're not a strongly flavored malt. They're not going to stand up to big bodacious hop bodies. Um, but then you're left as that that malt kind of fades and you're left with this really really nice and kind of quiet lingering hop finish, but it is a hazy hop finish. It's not the the pine needle brush kind of that you'll get with the West Coast. It's this nice kind of just smooth tropical warmth. Um, maybe focusing more on the leaves and the flowers than the actual fruit of the plants. That is a really good beer. Um, I think that the strength of the hops really stands up nicely to just the, the subtle booziness of the middle and, and the malt, the kind of the body of the beer, and then finishes out really nicely without being like overpowering or cloying. Um, you wouldn't necessarily think of a triple or a quad as being like a warm day beer, but because the hops are really nicely employed here, this could work very well as a warm day beer, though you'd probably only want to drink one of them. And why are you drinking on a warm day if you can only drink one, right? I mean, I suppose you can continue more, but um, you know, this is the, the end of the day after you've gone and done all the things that are to be done. So this isn't a, you know, a, a lawnmower beer, that's for sure. This is a good good beer. There is a, a thickness to it, without it being like heavy. Um, it feels I would I would probably describe it as substantial, rather than heavy, and and that works very nicely. There's a lot of what could be powerful flavors, and they're working pretty well together in this. I I like this a lot. This is a very good beer. Um, this pairs things and and melds things that I like about beer. Um, it would be interesting interesting to see them try a maybe more of a, a West Coast hop style, more of that pine tree and juniper kind of flavor of hop or hop character with the the double dry hop. I want to say I might have had a, a strong double dry hopped Belgian style before, but I can't recall off the top of my head. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's not a video I did, though I suppose a um, like a, a, a strongly hopped Christmas ale might be similar. A strongly hopped, uh, light-colored uh, Christmas ale might be similar um, and might have had, might be an interesting comparison. Uh, not, that you, not that you can do too much comparison with a, a beer of this caliber, not head-to-head -head for certain. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, this is me, Matthew. I've been drinking and definitely enjoying, and I have a lot more to enjoy, of Monkless Belgian Ales, Hazy Day in Brussels, a double dry hopped Belgian style triple ale. Now I'll catch y'all on the flip side. <laughs>